Hello traders, this is Hugh, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the RSI alert indicator. Uh, so what is the RSI in the alert indicator? It's an indicator that I created that will send you alerts via either email, text message, um, app alert, or screen alert. And uh, that's once RSI gets overbought or oversold. So let's take a look. Uh, so to add the indicator, just go to custom and then scroll down to uh, TH simple alerts and you'll get the uh, information screen so as you can see uh, you can use inputs like the RSI value um, I just use the default 14 you can also input the overbought and oversold levels and you can also put in the minute alert minutes uh, so that's a little confusing maybe but it'll only give you one alert per um, whatever you set here. So for example, this is set to 60 minutes. So you'll only get one alert per 60 minutes. Uh, so one alert every hour. And this is to prevent too many alerts from uh, being annoying. Um, and then you get to the alert levels. Um, you can do a pop-up alert and a sound alert, which are on your desktop computer or your laptop. Um, then you can do email alerts. In this case, you have to have the email section set up properly so that you'll get email alerts from um, MetaTrader 4. And you can also use email alerts to send a text message to your phone. Uh, you will have to check on that with your uh, mobile provider and see if they have that available. Some places don't, but uh, most of the major companies do. AT&T, I know Verizon does. So be sure to check with them before you uh, set that up. And then push notification if you want to get notified via the MetaTrader 5 app. Um, that's really easy to set up. You just put in your um, your number, of your identifier number from your app into the desktop version. And you can look up how to do that on my channel, but uh, won't get into that. And then you just click OK. Well, if you want to change the um, colors, you can change the colors. And the, um, the levels are going to be set here in inputs so you don't have to set the levels manually uh, these overbought and oversold levels and you just click OK and that's it and you have it working so if I drop down to a smaller time frame there you go uh, as you can see it crossed here and it sent a message and it made a sound so that's how you set it up and I hope it helps thanks for watching